When my dad played for them, the Crocus Locust were the most feared team in the entire South Saskatchewan Senior League. But by the time I discovered baseball and fell in love with it, that had been killed during the war in Europe. And the Locusts? Well, they weren't a cause for fear in anyone, except perhaps their own fans. Not counting the Locusts, my favorite team in those days were the big league New York Yankees, the Bronx Bombers. But Molly Gatenby's new stock that spring included a Joe DiMaggio signature imprint outfielder's glove. I had to have it. But Mom wasn't nearly as certain as I was. We'll see, was all she said. We'll see how much help you are to Jake this summer. We'll see what the harvest promises. We'll see. See that Homer Ralphie hit? Looked like a shot right out of a cannon. <laughs> yeah, your nephew sure can hit, all right. He sure can hit. Yeah, I'd say that about finishes the bums for another year. You're awfully quick to write us off, Albert. Last time I looked, we still had the last playoff spot. Oh, not for much longer, Henry. With Ralphie stroking the ball the way he is, that spot will belong to the Tigers after next Saturday's game. So much for hometown loyalty. Oh. <laughs> First of all, Jake, I've lived in Crocus longer than you have, so I'll hear no comments about hometown loyalty. Second of all, I haven't got where I got in life by backing losers. No disrespect intended, Henry. <laughs> well, as they say, the game's not won till the game's all done. Funny you should mention that, Jake. I don't suppose you'd like to make a little wager on the outcome of next Saturday's game, would you? Much as I'd love to lighten your wad there, Albert, I've got to concede that, well, I don't know if the locusts have what it takes. I'll pass. Yeah, I work harder for my money than you do, so I can't be throwing it away. <laughs> Sorry, Henry. Do you think it's true, Jake, what Mr. Ricky says, that the locusts need a, a miracle to stop the tigers from catching them? They need more than a miracle, Ben. They need a pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic duo, Yankees ace of the barber Mangley versus Dodgers star Jackie Robinson. The wind up and the pitch. And it is a huge fly ball. And it's going, going, going. Way, way back. <laughs> but no, DiMaggio has it lined up. He <laughs> Jake! How's it going? I, I thought you were dead. I guess, I guess that'd make this heaven then. It'll do. This road get me back to town. Uh, it will. Be quicker to cut across the farm and hook up with that road again after it turns south. You don't mind? Thanks. So, I didn't catch your name. Oh, Max Smith. Jake Trumper, this is Ben Osborne. Hey, Ben. Where are you from, Mac? Cleveland, Ohio. Crocus, Saskatchewan, a long way from Cleveland. What brings you up here? Oh, it's just the road turn, I guess. I'm out to see the world. Traveling pretty light, no pack. 
Oh, yeah. God, stupid me, you know. I must, must have left it in the, in the truck to give me my last ride. Whew. That's a shame. You know. <laughs> hey, say, you, you wouldn't know about any pain work around here, would you? Hey. You a ball player, Ben? I guess. Well, it looks like a judging by that ball. That's, a, that's one well up piece of cowhide. It was Ben's father's. He was a big star with the Crocus Locusts. Oh, you don't say. It's a famous ball, isn't it, Ben? I had to fight off a dozen kids to get that ball when Ben's father hit a home run off of Jimmy Dutton to win the South Saskatchewan Senior Championship in 1940. They still say that's about the fastest 50-yard dash ever run by a woman. <laughs> so, where is the hero of the 1940 South Saskatchewan Senior Championships? I'd like to meet him. He died in the war. Sorry. It's okay. The locust sure could use your dad right about now, eh, Ben? Not playing so good, huh? Well, they're fighting for their playoff lives. Big game this Saturday with the Tiger Lily Tigers. It'll tell the tale for this season. Oh. Sounds to me like they need you to grow up quick and carry on the family name. And he will, too. Won't you, Ben? May I please be excused?
are you looking at? I'm making the clouds disappear. <laughs> Jake says if you concentrate hard enough on making it disappear, it will. Why would you want to do that? It says it'll make you feel better about things. Oh, I'm getting as a headache. Let's start with a smaller one. See that one over there? It's fading. Yeah. That cloud is definitely fading. It's amazing. It'd be nice if you can make the clouds in our lives disappear like that. Yeah. Hey, what's that? It's a red-tailed hawk. How can you tell? See that rusty tail and that dark belly? Yeah. Where do you learn all this stuff? Jake. Oh. Jake must be one smart fella. Maybe the smartest ever. Cleveland, a big city? Mm-hmm. Big and dirty. You ever see the Indians play? You kidding me? Man, all the time. I was one of their biggest fans when I was a kid. And the Yankees? Yep. What about Joe DiMaggio? Yeah, I even got the Clippers autograph. Really? Yeah. You know, in the window of the general store, there's a glove signed by Joe DiMaggio. Well, not signed, but... A signature imprint. Yeah. Oh, wow, man, that's great. You're sure a big fan of the game, aren't you? I only wish I knew half as much about playing it. Yeah, what position are you? Pitcher. Yeah. Sort of. Uh -huh. What do you throw? The ball, as hard as I can. <laughs> Sounds to me like you are a guy who's in need of a new pitch. Stupid idiotic thing. One more. No. Now it's all in the wrist, Ben. You just pretend like you're flicking off a light switch with your two fingers. That? Like that. Okay. All right. Max teaching me how to throw a curveball, Jake. Fancy stuff, eh? Come on, man. That's it. Mac is handsome. You sure you didn't conduct the job interview? <laughs> Good. Excellent. Remember the trying to... He reminds me a little bit of Daniel. Really? Nice. Good. Excellent. Not so much his looks. It's more the way, the way he carries himself. <laughs> Plus, he must be about the same age Daniel was when he left. You know, when I was Ben's age, I always thought that I would grow up and marry Daniel. You and every other girl in town, I'm told. Check. Move that castle thing that you got there a couple of spaces. Jake, it's called a rook and leave it alone. Are we excited about the big game, gentlemen? 
That uh, should be a dandy, all right, a, a real dandy. If the locust got anything left, that is. <laughs> you boys got anything left, Moses? We'll see come Saturday, Albert. <laughs> By the way, I am now offering odds. <laughs> Don't look at me, not me. I'm the umpire. A conflict of interest, you see. Moses? I'm playing, Albert. Oh. What's that smell? Is that chicken? Are you frying chicken in here tonight, repeat? So just how odd are your odds, Albert? I say the Tigers win Saturday's game by three runs, minimum. Not a chance. And I say that'll cost you 25 bucks. You're sure now? I mean, we all know how hard you work for your money, Trumper. You're right, Albert. Let's make it 50. <laughs> <laughs> I must be out of my mind. Redtail. No. No, that's a Swainson's hawk. How do you know? Gray bib across the chest, gray border on the tail. You know where I come from. Big bird is a garbage fed pigeon. I envy him. Where did you serve, Mac? What makes you think I served? It just shows on some men. Europe. And that's in Italy and then Germany. Until the end. Must have been a young man. Yeah. Not for long. Sport been Osborne. Now, since when have you ever quit a game of baseball? 
I got in a fight with Lazarus. Why were you fighting? Every time I pitch to him, he hits a home run, Ma. Now, I've seen you pitch, and you're good. No, I'm not. But Lazarus is, and that's not fair. What's not fair? My dad was Daniel Osborne, the best baseball player ever to come out of this town. I know all the rules, all the strategies, and all the names of every major league star. Lazarus didn't even give a hoot about baseball. Nobody can be the best at everything, Ben. There are things that you do better than Lazarus. You're a better hockey player. I don't care about the other things, Ma. If Dad was alive, he'd be able to teach me, and I'd be better than that darned old Lazarus left hand. What have you been standing there for? Just arrived. <laughs> Sorry, you, you kind of startled me, so... You've got a heck of an arm. That? No. <laughs> no, I'm just... Just fooling around. Supper's probably... ready, so... Wash up, I'll see you inside. You're not throwing rocks here. You got rawhide there. Hey, why don't you give him that curveball, Mac? See if he can handle that one. <laughs> give him one of your heaters there, Mac. <laughs> Come on, Mac. You can throw it harder than that. See some heat? <laughs> Holy cow, I've never seen anyone pitch that hard before. Terrific arm. Thanks. I remember me telling you about that big game on Saturday between the Locusts and the Tiger Lily Tigers? Yeah. Well, Moses here is the Locust catcher. I don't suppose you'd consider pitching for us come tomorrow afternoon, would you? Papers from both towns will be there. Oh, might be a stringer from the Regina Leader there, too. Maybe even a pro scout or two from your side of the border. They do blow through here once in a while looking for prospects. And my sore hand tells me that you're definitely a prospect. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I won't pitch. Why not? Because I came, I came here looking for peace, not attention. But the locusts need you. We need you. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't want to be needed. Okay, I just, I want to be left alone. It's just a ball game, Mac. Yeah, I know what the hell it is, Jake! I go! Just leave me alone. It's a big word, Ben. One that doesn't leave much room for talking and trying to understand. I don't care. Listen. Now, when countries hate, they go to war. That's a terrible thing. And you know that some men, like your dad, they never came back from the last war. And other men, well, maybe Max, one of them, they came back all right, but they brought a little too much of the war home with them. I don't think I understand. Well, what I mean is that some wounds don't bleed red. All the hurting goes on inside. Like in the heart? Yeah. 
like in the heart. You know what that feels like, don't you, kid? Yeah. Ben! Time to come in, hon! It's getting late! But, Ma! Oh, no, it is getting late. We'll look for your ball with fresh eyes first thing tomorrow, okay? Okay, let's go. Good night and good morning, Saskatchewan. Here is the news to midnight. Regina RCMP are confirming that a jailbreak five days ago in North Dakota may now have a Canadian connection. As reported earlier this week, last Monday, six men broke out of the state prison near Williston, North Dakota. All but one have now been recaptured. According to Regina RCMP, there is a possibility the remaining fugitive at large may have crossed the border into southern Manitoba or Saskatchewan. Residents in both areas are being advised to lock their doors at night and keep an eye out for suspicious-looking strangers. The escapee, Tony Edwards, is described as 26 years old, 5 feet 11 inches, approximately 175 pounds, medium build, dark hair, blue eyes. Edwards is an ex-GI with a history of violent assaults and should be considered extremely dangerous. Also in the news... You know, get down. No, I'm telling you, listen to what I'm saying. No. Look out! Oh! Oh God, no! Ain't coming! No! God, no! You all right? You give it to him. You know, you're a brave man to come out here without your shotgun. It has more to do with my instincts about you than anything I'd call courage. You people always leave your keys in the ignition? We leave our doors unlocked, too. This is trusting country. I was going to take off. Well, you didn't. Surprises the hell out of me. Does it? Not really. So, what do you want to do now? Guess you better make a phone call.
acquaintance. Yeah. Jay. Favor? Well, it depends on what it is, I guess. Yeah. You think the locust could still use a decent picture today? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Corporal, at the Ball Diamond in Crocus. I'll have him there at 4 o'clock. That won't be necessary. You and a partner will be plenty. He won't give you any trouble. All right. Thank you. What was that about? You promise you won't get hysterical. Jake Trumper. Did you hear about a jailbreak in North Dakota? Yes. No. Mac? Where's Ben? He's on the porch with Mac. What? It's all right, Julia. They're just talking. Talking? He is a criminal, Jake. Have you completely lost your senses? When I got home from the war, I couldn't get it out of my head, and it got so bad that I, I couldn't play baseball anymore. And they, they cut me. Finished. After being so close to the majors before the war. And losing baseball, just, it, 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 um, it made me do some stupid things. I drank, and I got into a lot of fights. And, and one fight, someone real bad. I almost killed him. And I went to jail. Do you, you think my dad did and saw some terrible things? I don't know. But, you know, I got a feeling that your dad was very, very good man. I'm strong, too. Stronger than me. And besides, he, he had two people. Two people to love. And to think about all the time. You and your mom. You see that? That's what would have filled his head. Not the awful thing that war is. Look at that, you found your bowl. I found it. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm sorry about everything. I asked them to come for you after the game. They agreed. Ben. Did Mac tell you that he changed his mind about pitching for us today? Honest? You're gonna pitch for the Locuses? Yeah. I called Moses. He was pretty excited. Said he'll do what he can about a uniform. Okay. I have a uniform he can borrow. Fine specimen of manhood, isn't he, Jake? Well, he certainly is, Albert. He's gonna be one tough out today. Yes, indeed he do. <laughs> so, you still feeling lucky? Well, funny you should mention that, Albert. I was thinking maybe we should renegotiate. I knew it. I'm not gonna let you weasel out on this one. Uh, I don't want out, Albert. I just want to be fair. So I'll give you back your three runs, even odds, if you'll double the bet. He is one strapping young fella, that's for sure. Thompson, isn't he? That's right. My sister married Jerry Thompson for over in Tiger Lily. Oh, well, that explains it. Explains what? Well, an athlete that good would have to have a lot more Thompson than Ricky in him now, wouldn't he?
Welcome, folks, to the final game of the season between the Crocus Locus and the Tiger Lily Tigers. We have one lineup change to announce. A last-minute addition to the Crocus roster. Starting today, a pitcher for the Locusts is Mac Smith. He's got some heat. told to come at 4 p.m. and it's 4 p.m. So where is he? Who? Tony Edwards. Oh, uh, uh, I'm your man. doesn't match the description of this guy at all. Too tall. Uh, ball three! Are you sleeping, repeat? That was a strike! Outside, it was outside, Moses. Give your head a shake, Ump. Are both your eyes crossed? Now, you listen to me, Moses, left hand. You make one more crack like that, I'm gonna toss you out of here! Out, I say! Oh, yeah? Yeah! I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Play ball!
Thank you. It was a, it was a real honor to wear it. You keep this. Yeah. Keep working on that curveball, kid. Okay? Thanks. For everything. You bet. to pay him his wages. Wasn't that a great game? I'd give anything to be able to throw like him. Well, keep practicing, you just might. Me to buy it for you with the money we owed him for bailing. Let's play ball! <laughs> Sit down, we'll play later. <laughs> we got a postcard from Mac a while later. He was out of jail now, this time with the warden's blessing, as Jake put it back on the road and watching the sky for hawks. He never rode again. I like to believe he finally found his peace, figured out how to make the big clouds disappear, and got on with his life. Lazarus never really loved the game of baseball the way I did. But over the next 10 years or so, he turned into one heck of a player. Eventually, he became a crocus locust too. And some folks, like Jake, who were around long enough to see them both in uniform, said he was the best to come along since the great Daniel Osborne. I got him out once though. <laughs> 